Joe Schiavone, the Youngstown Area State Senator, ended up with 10% of the vote. William O'Neill, the former Supreme Court Justice for the State of Ohio, just 3% of the vote. Now, Joe Schiavone did stay in the area tonight to watch the results come again, in. Again, finishing third on the Democratic side. Proud of his effort to reach young voters, uh, engaging those younger ones. First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti talked with Joe about his bid to become governor. Joe Schiavone was feeling a little philosophical this evening after falling short in what is actually just his first effort at statewide office in Ohio. Schiavone arrived at St. Luke's Social Hall in Boardman shortly after learning the Democrat nominating race for Ohio governor had gone to former Attorney General Rich Cordray. Schiavone tells me it was hard to overcome Cordray's huge lead in financing as well as his support from the Democratic Party. There was a lot of people with Cordray or Kucinich stickers, and they knew these guys for years and years, and I would walk around the crowd, and they, people would whisper, I voted for you. But they would never go to the front door, and they would never scream it. They would never stand up, and they would never pronounce it louder. Schiavone thanked all of those who volunteered and supported his campaign, saying essentially that everything happens for a reason. He says he's not sure what the future holds, except perhaps for one thing. He plans to take his wife and two young boys to Walt Disney World and then figure out his future from there. In Boardman, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.